Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a good place to stay. We practice meditation based on generosity and based on virtue. Because when you're being generous, the mind can be pleased, happy that you have more to more than enough to share. And you look at yourself and you can see that you've benefited other people. The same with the precepts. You look at your behavior and you see there's nothing with which you can criticize yourself. That puts the mind in a good mood. So don't let that good mood go to waste. Invest it in meditation. Because that's the whole purpose of generosity and virtue, is to help get the mind to settle down, have a sense of gladness, have a sense of well-being. So it can look at itself more clearly, see what's going on, and keep itself under control. When things that would ordinarily give rise to greed, aversion, and delusion come up, when the mind is under control, it doesn't have to go those ways. When things that would give rise to skillful states come up, the mind can say, okay, that's something good. I want to go with that. In other words, you're in a position where you can choose. When the mind is hungry and tired and feeling weak, it's not too choosy. It'll take whatever comes its way. And as, as a result, it ends up causing itself a lot of trouble. But when the mind is well fed, well fed with generosity, well fed with virtue, well fed with the meditation, the sense of well-being that comes when the mind can settle down and just rest with something for a while. Then you can be more choosy about what you want to do and say and think, about where you're going to find your happiness. You can do it a lot more skillfully. So take the, the time to take this sense of well-being that comes from being generous, that comes from virtu being virtuous, and invest it in getting the mind to settle down. So that source of happiness lies inside. It doesn't have to depend on things outside. That's the kind of mind that can be anywhere and be happy. If the mind is dependent on things being just like this, this has to be look like this, this has to sound like this, this person has to behave that way or this way. It's really a weak mind. And when the mind is weak, you can't really trust it. It starts thrashing around when it doesn't get what it wants. So you want to develop a mind that has a source of well-being inside. So this is where you invest the goodness of generosity, invest the goodness of virtue in developing good qualities in the mind. And that way your well-being grows and is more solid and more dependable, and you become more dependable as well. <clears throat>